Well, there's no better way to start a new video show on YouTube about model cars than you just do it, right? Been thinking about it. My buddy Andy at Andy's Hobby Headquarters, who I'm sure you've seen his videos, has always been saying, Hey, Luca, why don't you go ahead and do a model car show? And, uh, well, okay, I'm gonna. But I've been waiting to get my model room ready. The problem with my model room is just a freaking disaster. Moved in here about a year ago, and uh, all these other things happened. I just haven't been doing anything with it, and it's more of a storage room than a model room. So we need to clean that place up before I can do anything. So come on, let me just show it to you. And uh, won't be too critical on me. All right, here it is. Don't laugh. Don't judge. Da da. Yeah, it's bad. But. There's no other way to make it better than to just do it, so let's, let's uh, sit down over here. So I want to thank you for tuning in on this. I uh, just figured it's time to start a show that's basically about the hobby. I'm not going to do building and showing you how to build. I figure you guys know how to build. Let's talk about the hobby. Let's go over tips. Let's take road trips to maybe some model shows, model events, model uh, swap meets. We always have in the area but your favorite hobby shop but also maybe we'll start off by the do's and don'ts of about a model room and maybe give you guys some ideas on model rooms like i've set my model room up because of guys over the years that you know you'd go to your club meetings and you check out guys model rooms if you ever had your club meetings at other guys house we used to and that always inspired me to do my room the way i wanted to do it so a lot of my room is set up from little pieces and ideas I've got of, from all the guys I've known over the years, except for the mess. And we gotta put an end to all this. So let's, let's, let's clean this up. Um, or, you know what, I got a better idea. I don't feel like doing this right now. What's the second favorite place a modeler likes to be besides his model room? or hers, I'm sorry, I don't want to be sexist, is your favorite hobby shop. Let's go there instead. I'd rather go to the hobby shop. Let's talk to Andy. Give you guys a little behind the scenes of uh, what he does on his videos. For you guys that have watched him. And uh, let's go on, go on over there. And as Andy says, let's get started. Come on, let's go. Sorry there. So my little home away from home. I think you guys will like this. Uh, place I could not live without. So I'm here at Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Let's go in and take a look at what he's doing. He's working on one of his videos so you get to see a little bit of behind the scenes action going on. Hey Andy. Hey Matt, how you doing? Good. What you working on today? New video, and you can see how messy I am when I'm uh, I'm working on a model kit for you guys. And so here we are going behind the curtain. <laughs> okay. And lastly now we're going to put on a little bit of our uh, enamel thinner because we're going to put some little rust and streaking grime effect on it. And remember it's just a matter of wetting the area with the enamel thinner. Taking care of that. I'm going to use right now light rust. A few little drops here and there, some lines, however you want to do it. Then it's just a matter of taking that same brush again and just taking off the excess or when it comes to the sides dragging it down and making some nice streaks so we're going to go over the whole vehicle you've seen guys seen me do this many many times so i'm going to do the whole vehicle with the uh, mainly the grime but a few little areas we'll put some little light rust marks on it so we'll do that come back show you what it looks like and that's how the magic is made and that's it that's how the sausage is made. <laughs> so let me show you around the store a bit. Starting over here, of course, we've got the discount rack. 
and he gets a hold of a lot of uh, kit collections and stuff and really gets some excellent old kits and blows them out at great prices. Let me show you one of them. Yeah, uh, let's uh, do this it. One, this is kind of weird. We just got in this. This is a 1958 Aurora kit. Uh, really, really old we're talking here. This is back in the day when, uh, look at this, all decals, everything. And this is when the back where they would have the, uh, the decal outlines on everything. Just, just really cool. But yeah, we get all kinds of really cool stuff in here from time to time. And guys who sell off their whole collections, they decide they're not doing cars anymore or not doing airplanes and they want to get into tanks. So, yep, I always carry a lot of different stuff and it flies out pretty quick too because there's always some good stuff. And the t-shirts. And there's plenty of, uh, for the airplane and the tank guys, there's plenty of uh, reference material you always keep on hand. Over here is, of course, where you purchase. You've got all of the weathering paints and pigments, glues, supplies, and tons of tanks and armor and the airplanes all down this aisle here. He just keeps a really great stocked little store here. Everything you can imagine. All the science fiction. And I know there's a lot of you guys that just build a lot, build models, everything. But of course, we're gonna come over into the area that I always like to go, is the cars. And we started out with a lot of Tamiya paints, testers paints, but here's the model cars. And he always has been great about keeping up with all the latest kits, keeping the store stocked, that's why it's been for 14 years my go-to shop. I just love this place. Everything you need, all the latest, like the C7 Corvette here, the C7R, brand new kit out. Just about any kit you can think of that's just recently come out. And who usually keep a good stock to where some of the stuff that isn't even around anymore, that you know, they drop it off, they'll still have a few. And just one of the best stocks model shops. Now I've been doing this stuff for uh, 35 years, and this has been my main hobby shop for the longest time than any other shop I've ever would hang out at. All the tools you need, plastic. And of course, a lot of the builds, either customers or Andy's builds. These are a lot of customer builds and some of the models he's built on his videos. And I even have one in there. <laughs> Mine. And there's always a place for friends to come and hang out. And that's the thing, it's a friendly shop. It's friendly. Andy, he's friendly, just like in the videos. Dave, Dave's friendly. Hi, Dave. Hey, Matt. How are you? Matt, yeah. are you buying anything? Because if not, you need to get out. <laughs> I'm friendly to a point. <laughs> it's cool. No, I'm not buying anything okay. today. You know me better than that. Well, I figured that. Huh? But, yeah, it's always a fun atmosphere here. We have a good time. And, uh... Let's get started. <laughs> hey, I say that. Oh, that's right. I got to come up with my own tagline, don't exactly. I? Exactly. Yeah. So that's what it's like over at Andy's Hobby Headquarters. That's how he does his videos. It's kind of neat to get to see a uh, behind the scene on uh, how he shoots them. This is me, Lucas C. Thanks for coming. Punch that like button. Subscribe. We're going to do more model car stuff. And uh, you got any ideas, you, things you want to see, things you want to talk about it, let me know. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you.